Hi, Joe Cerrone. And Alan Rosen. Welcome to KID 117, Intermediate Auto KID in our weekly Zoom classroom meeting. Alrighty, so we've gone through and put in the calendar how the course is going to play out, or at least how the last few weeks of the course are set. Uh, today's the 16th and Module 7 is due. Module 7 is a little bit tricky because it's isometric drawing and we're just following the textbook. Do the best you can with it. Um, the instructions from the textbook are right here and then there's a couple of videos from the publisher here as well. Um, but as we go through, um, that information is out there. It is a little bit tricky because most people do 3D and in my opinion, 3D is actually a more solid way to go. But um, as I said, we're just following through the textbook. You can always ask for an extension if you need a little bit more time on this. And we've released module eight. And module eight is section views of this flange bearing right here. And so um, on this component, you know, we go through and we create the front view and then the top view and then as, as I looked at the at the uh, module itself, you don't necessarily have to create all the additional details of it, um, but you, we definitely want two views. We want the front view and the top view, and that represented as a section. And that's all plays out very well in the content section. And so if we look at the content section and we go to module eight, okay, here's our drawing, and then you can download the MEC title block. Here's the PowerPoint lecture. If we take a look at that, section views. And basically, as we look at these section views, we want to explain the different types of views, full sections, half sections, broken out section, revolved, using cutting planes, and just understanding the terminology that we're using these section views to show the interior features of an object. And so rather than have a bunch of hidden lines, we'll slice it. And then as we go through, this shows the interior features and where the line for the section shows hatch, that would be the areas that would be cut. And then you can see the difference between a spot face, drill to depth, drilled hole, counterboard and it does have an area at the end of the chapter in the textbook and in the PowerPoint to show you how to do the whole geometry. Talks a little bit about architectural sections as well and then gives some examples of how a full section would go all the way through the part. Half section would go through a quarter of the part so half of it is section the other half is not and he compares it to an apple puts this little worm in there. Broken out section, revolved section. A lot of engineering graphics, but that's what we want. We want people to understand technical drawing and how it's supposed to look on paper so that as you go through, you understand it. Front view, top view, and then the details. So here's an offset section showing the whole geometry so that it better explains how the part is put together. And then it goes through how to create the section views in some of those drawings. And here's our drawing project. And the second one is optional. This is the one that we want to do. <clears throat> we'll create this flange bearing and we'll go through and create all the information as it's shown. Here's what I was talking about as far as being able to spec out the counter bore and counter sink and the videos show how to do that in module eight and then there's also some information as far as how to project from one view to another and then create the whole geometry for like an 82 degree counter sink what you do is you draw a line at 41 degrees and wait till it intersects the projected whole location from the top view and so it goes through in detail how to do that. We typically put the front view here and the top view down here. So I think this is kind of flipped, 
um, but either one is acceptable. And then the following week we'll do auxiliary views. The auxiliary view component isn't real difficult. And as we start to go through and look at how the course is laying out, um, here's our lecture PowerPoint. Here's the PDF of the drawing. Same one that we just showed. Back to module eight. And then we have videos. And so we have part one, where we'll go through and show how to create the drawing. You can use either the B-size mech title block or you can use the author's title block. Either one is acceptable. But essentially going through and creating the drawing with the section view. And then if we backtrack here, it's actually three or four parts to these videos. Here's part two. And again, we'll go through and show how to annotate it. Here's that character map, being able to use the GD and T, and to be able to copy and paste things like our counter bore symbol, and then be able to insert that into a drawing. And so, again, how to put in the dimensions and annotate the drawing properly using gd and t back to module 8 and then here's part 2x more gd and t i might have shown that one module 8 and then part 3 creating the front view of it. The 3D component is a bonus. And so we just need the top view and the front view. And then if you decide to go with L slice and dice, I think we turned on under the table of contents, the component and how to slice. And that might've been off before, but we can go through if you wanted to model it and create the slice. The instructions are there. All right, so back to the main splash page. So as the course is, is rolling out, we have module seven, which is the isometric drawings due today. Module eight is then the one we just showed next week. Next week is Thanksgiving. Um, we'll still run the meetings, you know, and, and, and drop the recording in and then it, we just showed you module eight. Module nine is an auxiliary view. And then module 10 is 3D. And we'll be releasing a practice midterm, or excuse me, a practice final exam uh, somewhere right around the 30th so that you can be prepared to take the final exam on December 7th. Now the last day of class attendance is December 14th. And so what we like to do is to run the final exam using honor lock where we'll have a multiple choice component of the test and a hands-on drawing again we'll do the multiple choice component using honor lock it's fairly straightforward that way we can verify everybody's identity but the hands-on drawing you can do without honor lock and then like we said the 14th is kind of a mercy day if somebody has some issues on the seven getting everything done we have some extra time to get the rest of the work done. And so the last day of student attendance, our last meeting will be the 14th of December. And then we'll be pretty well ready to go take a break. And sign up for you guys on the, for uh, CAD 118. Yeah, it, certificates. it is. It's a great, well, you know, you want to collect certificates. They do help, you know, and, and they do build your abilities. Al and I will be doing the 118 and we'll be doing uh, 3D modeling and kind of updating and refreshing the course from what it has been. And um, him and I have been teaching, we teach all the courses. It's just a matter of being able to manage them. So with that, Al, um, is there anything else that we want to talk about? Uh, no, uh, next week we will be there Sunday coming up and on uh, Wednesday morning. So you can get a hold of 
us, hey, one of those days over there, over at Skokie, or send us a notice you want to assume one of those days, we'll do either one of those. Yeah, that's right. So as, you know, as things get to be crunch time, sometimes people need a little bit of extra help. And we want to let you know that Sundays in Skokie, 9 a.m. to 12, you're welcome to stop by if you need some in-person help. Alrighty, um, that's room P132, Skokie campus, Sundays 9 to 12. With that, I'll stop the recording and then we'll open things up for questions.